For most of the people, Kota Baru is seen as an urban area which is a legacy from the Dutch East Indies era and now adorned by office buildings, school buildings, and stores. Not many know that Kota Baru has an intriguing long history as a witness of the struggle against Dutch colonial rule. Kota Baru today is not as different as in the past. The townscape is almost the same. There are various public facilities there, and today Kota Baru is adorned by many coffee shops which have become hangout places for youth. Its cafe has its own characteristics that enrich the uniqueness of this area. Kota Baru is also a paradise for book lovers. There you will find Jakarta City Library and two big famous bookstores. Well, Kota Baru is also suitable for pedestrians, so the tourists can walk comfortably while delving into Kota Baru's interesting past. Kota Baru developed since 1920 as the effect of the dense population in the Loji Kecil area. The reason for this was because more and more Dutch in the colonial era wanted to stay in Yogyakarta. Kota Baru became a new alternative residential area with full facilities. This area was designed according to a radial pattern just similar to the cities in the Netherlands in general. It is different from other areas in Yogyakarta which mostly still follow cardinal directions. The big trees, flowers, and fruit plants decade that Kota Baru was designed as a garden city, completed with a boulevard and wide roads. This cultural heritage has a lot of unique and historical stories. Let's explore it further. Since a long time ago, Kota Baru is also a center of education. The building that we know as the New High School 3 Yogyakarta or Padmanaba was the RMS of the Lingbi building or high school in the Dutch East Indies era. This is where some important figures in Yogyakarta and Indonesia study, such as Heri Zudianto, the former city mayor of Yogyakarta, Saptor Harjo, musician and artist, Lyoko Atmo Darminto, the former governor of Jakarta, Sumantri Brojonegoro, the former minister of energy and mineral, and many more. Another building with high historical value is the building that is currently used as the Jiwa Sraya Insurance Office. During the Dutch era, this building was the house of Asuranti Nil Matsapajit staff. While during the Japanese occupation, it was used as the house of Putaiko Mayor Otsuka, a high-ranked officer of Japan. On October 6, 1945, this building was used as a place for negotiation between Mayor Otsuka and Mohamed Saleh Bardosono. The negotiation was about weapon handover from Japan to Indonesia soldiers. Let's move to the next historical building. It is the Bapon Anim substation in Kota Baru. It has become the historical site for electricity in Yogyakarta. In the past, the electricity in Jogja could only be channeled out of this station, the limited area and capacity. And V Anim was the electricity provider of the Dutch East Indies in the Java region. People then call it as Papon Anim. Museum Sandi, which is located in Kota Baru, is the only cryptography museum in Indonesia. During the pandemic, Museum Sandi is open to public but the visitors have to make a reservation in advance. This museum is free of charge. Museum Sandi was founded on the initiative of the head of the National Code Institute and Sri Sultan Hamengkubuwono X in 2006. After hit by the earthquake in May 2006, this museum was finally established in 2008. Since 2014, the museum has moved to its current location in Kota Baru. It was the building of Indonesian Air Force. And this building has two floors with nine display rooms. It contains various historical items. 
since the independence war. This playroom on the first floor tells a lot about the biography of Dr. Rubiono Kertopakti, the founder of Persandian Negara Republic of Indonesia. Some rooms display various historical items in the world of Indonesian coding, such as code books, on-tail bikes for couriers, and others. There are also several dioramas describing the activities of coding staff during the independence war. Let's go to other rooms. There are various old code machines used by several countries in the world, such as the United States, the Vatican, Germany, and others. There are also several chiper machines made by Indonesians. In the last room, there are several computers that can be used to find out more complete information about cryptography. Apart from that, there are also a number of coding games that challenge visitors to decode Viginer, a classic coding system that is the basis of modern encryption in many countries. Kota Baru is also a symbol of religious harmony and tolerance. There are many places of worship for different religions. The Santo Antonio's Church Kota Baru, which was founded in 1926, is characterized by a European building with a tall tower at the front of the church, big pillars, and hood-shaped ceiling. This church is the largest house of worship for Catholic in Yogyakarta. For Muslims, the Suhada Mosque Kota Baru is also a legendary and historical mosque. Just like its name, Suhada, which means struggle, the mosque is a gift from the Republic of Indonesia government to appreciate the struggle of Yogyakarta people in defending Indonesian independence. This building finished on the 20th of September 1952. It is not only the two buildings which stand side by side in harmony. There is a Batak Christian Protestant church just next to the Suhada Mosque. The church was the ancient building of the reformed Christian church from the Dutch East Indies era. In 1942, even before the Suhada Mosque was built, this church was even used by Muslims to pray. There will be no end if you want to explore Kota Baru. There are many historical sites in this area, especially related to the national struggle. One of them is the office of Yogyakarta City Tourism. This is the place where the guerrilla of General Sudirman, the Indonesian national hero, ended. However, it would be more fun and fantastic if you visit the site by yourselves. Thank you for joining this virtual tour to Kota Baru. Hopefully, it can a little bit fulfill your longing to Yogyakarta. See you at other interesting destinations.